Hey everybody, this is Freedom at Macklin Ford, Calgary's most likable Ford store. Today I get to get a, give you a quick walk around on something special. 23 Ford Bronco Raptor. Let's take a look. The name says it all. It inspires fear among the competitors and awe among pretty much everybody else. This is our 23 Bronco Raptors in hot pepper red with the graphics package. I absolutely love this thing. Now, you may know, I'm a bit of an off-road enthusiast. The fact that this thing gets 37 inch tires, Fox shocks, three inch shocks in the rear with remote reservoirs. Take a look at that, absolutely cool. All sorts of things. So. We are gonna go, uh, kinda go over a couple things here on this vehicle. So we'll start at the back. I, I love the color, hot pepper red is probably one of my favorites. Big swing open gate. This is the hard top with removable panels. We've got uh, bags for the panels there as well. Rubber seal, we've got a little bit of tools, jack, whatnot down there. I love the little lasso logo. Uh, you'll notice a couple places in the vehicle. Lots of gonna be uh, lots of little uh, Easter eggs. This is what I'm looking for. We have a bottle opener right there on the back of the gate. Some extra tie downs, lights. Again, we got the little Bronco logo there as well. More tie down points. Cool thing is because this upper top comes off, we've got a clip here for windshield washer fluid and for heating elements, signals, and everything like that, which we might be able to get. There we go, camera focus, yeah, there we go. So these two items here, when the roof comes off, they plug in down here. Ford's actually provided a, a spot here. So watch your fluid uh, hose goes there and then that plug just clips in. Nice and easy, super cool. Seats will fold down flat. There's a little bit of a lip there, but the seats do go down, but we've got a little bit of a, an offset lip there as well. 60-40 split. I'll go over a couple other things here as we put everything away. Oh, just notice that Raptor there uh, backwards. That's kind of cool. Oh, so you get to see it through the mirror. Super cool. I really like that. That's a cool little, uh, cool little option. Love the lights. We've got fuel here. Again, that's that easy... Fuel system, capless, you don't have to worry about mittens or anything like that in the snow. Big texturized running boards, love those. Obviously, if you're out in the snow or in the desert, you want something secure to be able to step up on and make sure you're not slipping. Fold that back up. Now, this vehicle has, um, obviously you can see the coloring on that. Those seats, absolutely gorgeous with the leather and the suede, Alcantara Ultra suede, kind of feel to it we got full rubber trays in here as well of course the doors come off so we got our windows controls on the center console we've got extra charge ports here 110 volt and USB both of the back seats have this moldy pattern here for hooks not the full actual moldy but we've got a uh, rubberized or elastic uh, retainers netting as well in the doors on top of that get that kind of cool texturized look and feel all the way around to it. The seats have a little bit of a blue tinge. You kind of see that on the on the camera there as well. Door panels also, so a little bit of blue, a little bit of black, and then that red as well, that really pops. We've got, of course, our Ford Secure Keyed lock. Blind spot alerts as well, signal lights on the backside. But just look at these venting here, like absolutely super cool. Get a kind of fanboy on uh, the Raptor here because I don't get to see these too too often. They're a rare breed. So we've got uh, a quick lock and then hands inside again quick proximity unlock. Love the big beefy grab handles, carbon fiber uh, coloring as well. Light set to automatic of course. You know what let's let's pop the hood here. We'll come back to that but again you get to see Ford performance because this has that turbocharged three liter engine making 400 horsepower i 
Those of you who know, will know. Those of you not necessarily mechanically inclined, it's a bunch of stuff. But for the guys who are off-roading, Baja, check out these lights. Oh, super aggressive. Very, this is one of the Easter eggs here, kind of old school. The uh, old Broncos had their signal light here and then the round headlights. So Ford has integrated those on the Bronco. Just as a little extra throwback. We've got front camera here as well. Back camera, of course. Ford performance badge just underneath the hood. Absolutely love it. Super cool. Uh, this does have the 360 camera system as well. So we've got cameras just underneath the uh, mirror and I'll show you more on that. In we go. Now, give me a minute, I'm gonna hop in here, knock my shoes off here, just so I'm not uh, getting anything dirty. Here we are inside and you're gonna see kind of the graphics just right up on that front uh, infotainment system. Again, uh, Ford has, again, included that little Easter egg, a circle with the line coming out of it. Again, reminiscent of the old school lights. Foot on the brake, push power. Here we go. We got the Raptor Ford Performance logo and a little bit of cycling through all the different things. So, uh, okay, I know that I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Lots and lots of things to play with here. Quick look at the steering column. Of course, we've got our adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, cruise control, etc. volume, you name it. This little button allows our steering selection. So we get normal, comfort, and sport mode, which makes it a little bit heavier. The comfort is a little is a lot lighter. Normal feels good, drives good. This R button we'll come back to here in a moment. On this side, we've got a little spring. I don't know if that'll, camera won't quite focus on that for me. Uh, nope. Um, let's see if we can do it this way. Ooh, there we go. So there's our little spring and our exhaust pipe. So pushing the little spring button, we'll come up with our damper. So again, we get sport and Baja or off-road and our normal mode. Pushing the exhaust button will give us options for sport, Baja. Okay, thank you. Quiet and normal. So if this is something that you're starting up early morning or late at night, you can be nice to your, uh, to your, your neighbors. Keep that nice and quiet. And then when you go out, you can make that a little bit more, a little bit more noise. Sounds great. But otherwise, you can keep it nice and quiet. We need our Ford, Ford Assistant here as well, phone commands, and then of course our uh, controls for our infotainment or for our normal main menu. And there's a whole bunch of different things to rock through in here. Raptor information, as well as our um, stereo input as well. So our infotainment, AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all the things. Coming back to this R. So this R button brings up my mode settings and that's gonna give us options for where we're at. I'll just continue to push that again. Uh, you're gonna see normal for everything and we're in two wheel drive. If I change these things into sport, everything there, and then I push the R button. Nope. Oh, there we go. So once everything is changed there, we can actually edit this component. And so you can kind of quickly have uh, kind of preset favorites, really. Uh, it pulls us into the Raptor status, and again, that'll show us all the different items here. So we can kind of change some of these. Let's switch that into sport mode. And you see down there, the exhaust is showing sport. Uh, let's change steering into sport. And you can see those two now have changed into sport. Pushing the after the uh, R little logo there, jumps back to my preset modes, right? And I can, I can store those and I go from there. So everything will, uh, will jump back and just kind of like a quick little report on that as well. Super, super cool. Uh, let's jump back out of that. So there's our off-road status. We have all sorts of different information, gauges, temperature, boost, tire pressures, pitch and roll, super neat. Power distribution, which is very, oh, whoa. Heated and cooled seats as, or sorry, heated seats and heated steering wheel as well. Mine's just cooking me at this point. Sorry, I uh, didn't realize that that was on. I'll just turn the whole thing off. Uh, jump back into our menu here. We've got navigation, information, Raptor, of course. These are all kind of normal settings. 
Uh, as for pretty much all the Broncos, and a lot of the Fords as well are going to have all these cool settings to be able to run through. And you can customize that into that, uh, configure those items as well. So we can change all the different things that we want to see on our main screen or have quick access to. Nice and easy. I'm not going to play with that too much because I am delivering this vehicle here shortly. Uh, kind of run through here. Again, carbon fiber on the Raptor, on the steering wheel. Love it. More carbon fiber all the way around. That's awesome. We've got carbon fiber on the shifter knob with the Bronco there. The drive modes are highlighted in this red again for the Raptor. We get to see the Ford Performance icon there. And again, same thing, that throwback to round lights and then the signal indicators there. And that is just the whole front Ford badge as well for the Raptor with the three uh, lights up on top there. Super, super cool. We've got our climate system. Heated seats, as I mentioned before, it was now all toasty. Um, yeah, like even check out the camera button here. We can pull up. And so that'll give us our front cam, 360 cam. We can select our camera modes. Excuse my hands here. Uh, get a full 180 view, more wide view. Same thing. I can exit out of this one. And then when I go into reverse, that gives me my backup camera. And again, my 360, I can change cameras that straight down if you're attaching a hitch and I can change different looks as well. So 180 degree straight view and 360 as well. Notice they also have the uh, picture of the car, the car there with the front sensors and the rear sensors as I get too close to anything in case. Of course, AM, FM, Sirius XM, as I mentioned, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, all the things. We can have multiple phones connected at the same time. Navigation, nice and easy, saved menus. We can save home, work, a whole bunch of different items. And then the cool thing is, with this Ford Assistant, which is up on the uh, steering wheel here, we can give a full, you can just say, go home, navigate home. The car knows where we're going. If you're in the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, again, you'll get your own navigation from your phone and you'll be able to do that as well. And you can use the, uh, the Assistant on your phone as well if you wanted to do that. There's the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Settings, lots of different settings to kind of play with here. Those all get set up kind of individually per, uh, Per customer request. Uh, driving assistance, same thing. I set those up for individual customers, but adaptive cruise control, of course. Lane keep system, we can actually change that so it will actually steer for us as well. Turn those, you can change the, uh, the vibration, how intense that is as well. Distance indication, pre-collision assist, emergency braking, evasive steering, most of the Fords are going to have this nowadays. Rear view camera, everything has this. Parking sensors on. Rear cross traffic alert. I love this. So if you're backing out of your driveway and somebody's coming down the street, this will actually give you an alert. Let you know that somebody's there. That somebody's coming into your driving lane. Uh, and then, of course, driver alert if you're driving on long trips. Say you're going down to the desert. That's a long drive. Truck will start giving you notifications if it sees that you're, uh, you're getting a little drowsy, maybe. You started making little micro mistakes, something like that. Go from there. Um, come down here to the driving modes. So go over any terrain. Used to be go over all terrain. Uh, now go over any type of terrain, part of these modes. So you see that we have two high, four high, four auto, and four low. Four low has to be engaged in neutral, as always, but the others can be indicated on the fly. And then we have our terrain control. This is essentially a one pedal drive. We have to be in four high or four low. This just essentially takes your foot. You don't have to use two foot pedal on the brakes, gas, this, that. One pedal, very similar to an electric vehicle uh, where you give throttle and then as you get off the throttle, it actually just applies brake, almost like that. So you can uh, keep within certain uh, trail speeds. Go from there. Absolutely cool, it's a, a ton of fun. Zone lighting, we actually turn our lightings, let's override those. Um, we can turn on our front lights, so we'll turn those on. Headlights will engage, so if you're coming up to a parking uh, area or a camp area or you want them on specifically, you can turn on backlights, we can turn on side lights, which come off of the uh, door and mirrors as well. So depending on a campsite per se, you could illuminate everything on the passenger side or driver side or whichever. Turn those off. Something kind of cool as you're pulling into camp, it's kind of neat. Again, we've got uh, part of the SYNC 4 system, you can actually just swipe that straight across. We get our audio, navigation, again, we can swipe over, zone lighting, off-road status, a whole bunch of different modes and uh, options for information here, of course. 
and so we can just kind of cycle through all of those as well as we move up on top here we've got a couple extra buttons here as well and of course you get this beautiful leather uh wrap with red stitch on the dash here i absolutely love this thing so sway bar disconnect this is for like heavy off-road where we want uh, a little bit more articulation in the wheels front differential rear differential lock and trail turn assist this when active in for low when you turn the steering wheel it will actually lock one the back wheel the direction you're turning to help pivot the car around which is zoom out here sorry that's a little bit of an awkward angle and then of course our traction control and our emergency lights you'll also know we've got a little screw hole here threaded hole you can insert a camera gopro mount so it's just a, like, a quick mount to put whatever filming device you want on there and then of course power for that device as well beautiful idea i love the fact that ford has put that in there the bronco raptor also comes with the bang and olfson sound system so you'll see that little b and o uh, logo there so we've got speakers all the way across the front and then in the back as well up on that upper pod there too you can get an upgraded sound system on that but because the roof comes off and the doors come off it's kind of the only places that you can actually mount um speakers and stuff etc so there we go sorry about that um the other thing i want to point out is the red seat belts again just with the uh the stitching and the red aspects to it but uh jump back here so roof comes off super simple we just click these this is just like any other bronco and that pops off easy we got storage bags as well locked 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 as well so the upper we got one two this one can come off by itself or we can do two this one will lock back in so you could just remove that one if you wanted to this and then uh this is a full center panel in the back this comes off you could theoretically have just the center off and the two fronts on if you wanted, or all three off. And then the absolute back corner, the rear of the vehicle, whole thing comes off as well. So this thing can actually switch to complete convertible if you really wanted to. It's absolutely phenomenal. As we're up top here, I'll also show you we have the auxiliary switches. So we've already got pre-wired for six different items whether you're putting in light bars or ditch lights or anything else like that, who knows what you want to put in there. And then of course we have the home link system as well. So you can connect this directly to your garage and you just push the button, it opens your garage door, nice and easy. Um, paddle shifters on our steering column as well, but you know, the Raptor gives us such a different look and feel from the normal Broncos. There's our rear occupant seat, but just check this out, this little, exit screen here and as i turn off or open my door everything kind of turns off raptor logo with the ford performance absolutely super cool one other little uh easter egg i'm going to show you this is on all the broncos is right here this actually shows us the different modes so we've got our bronco with uh kind of long bronco full roof two-door no roof so this is kind of the throwback from the old uh old school what the old broncos used to actually uh look like in different some of the conversions on them as well yeah super cool you know it's not often that i be i get to be able to do this but uh this is the 23 bronco raptor i am lucky enough to be able to give you a quick uh walk through touch on some of the things uh unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to get to drive this or anything like that but just look at this we got the full steel modular bumper, extra little illuminators, tie down points, recovery points, just like how cool is all of this? And of course, like skid plates underneath and man, I can't wait till I get my own. I think everybody should have one of these. Just imagine if everybody was driving around in, in one of these, I think everybody would be super, super happy. Um, yeah, this is Freedom at Macklin Ford. This is the 23 Bronco Raptor. Maybe you'll be uh, lucky enough to see one of these out in public driving around. Give you an idea, it's kind of, kind of cool. If you have any questions or concerns, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to take you for a test drive because this is a very unique item. Um, feel free to give me a shout, 403-992-0630. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Uh, maybe hit like, hit, maybe hit subscribe. 
help me out. All the best in the future. We'll see you soon. Take care.